morning everyone as you guys saw i already did my coffee i did my supplements my vitamins got all that out of the way now i'm going to do my skincare put on some sunscreen and get dressed i got pj in the back he's napping need to pick up pk's father's day gift but i can't do that until 12 which is just 12 now so I need to do that at a Target pickup and then I need to go to CB2 and do a pickup because our little match, I don't know if I ever showed you guys, I'm sure I've showed you guys, but we had this like match jar and it broke. And so I wanna replace it and CB2 has them in stock. And so I ordered that, I'm gonna go pick that up once they email me and let me know it's ready to be picked up. Probably we'll go to Sweet Green and get a salad but I'm not gonna get the asparagus salad because I made myself sick eating that. And I don't know if it was me or if it was something at the restaurant, I'm not sure. But I took a few bites and instantly felt sick. And whenever that happens, it's usually something bad in the food because my body responds to any like bad foods really fast. like anything that's spoiled or not good my body does not wait so yeah i'm just sitting here in the parking lot at the container store parking lot because i have a pickup order at sephora because i am doing a sephora haul for you guys so stay tuned for that and then i'm gonna go over to sweet green get my salad and hopefully by then cb2 my order at CB2 will be ready because it's only one thing. I don't know what's taking them so long. I ordered it this morning. And then I can just pull up there and they'll bring it out to me. So, oh, I was telling you guys that the salad made me sick. And so I'm not getting that salad again. Unfortunately, when things like that happen, it turns me off from that food. Same thing happened to me with Chipotle. I had got some guacamole from Chipotle. This was years ago. And as I was eating it, I got so nauseous, I started throwing up. And I just think it was just bad. This was right before they had that big, um, like, shutdown, where they had to shut down all of the Chipotles because it was, like, contaminated and, just, like, people were getting sick and stuff. It was, like, salmonella or whatever. I don't even remember exactly what it was. But, yeah, and all the... Chipotle's had to shut down and do like a deep clean and all that stuff so it was like right before around that time and I've never gotten guacamole from Chipotle again now I do eat Chipotle I love Chipotle but I will never ever eat the guac there again because once something makes me feel like that I can never eat it again it doesn't matter what it is just got the harvest salad this is my favorite salad in the fall but now I like it all year round because it's just so good and so hearty and this is literally like the only thing I'll eat for the rest of the, of the day like what I usually do with my salads is I will just eat on them throughout the day like I'll eat a little bit put it in the refrigerator take it out eat a little bit more until it's done also if you get your dressing on the side always have them keep it out of the box because they usually 
put it in the box with your salad and I think that's so unsanitary so I always tell them to leave the dressing outside of the box or outside of the bowl so when I was at checkout I saw that they had these dark chocolate little bars this is the salty dark chocolate I was like, oh, that sounds good. So I got me a little PMS treat. And because it's a bar, again, this is one of those things where I'll just take a couple pieces off, eat it, put it away, take a couple more pieces. So this will last me like a week because there's no way I'll eat this entire bar in one sitting. I think I've had this before. I think they carry these in Whole Foods, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah and I love dark chocolate. I'm not a milk chocolate lover like that, but dark chocolate, if it's got dark chocolate on it, I'm gonna eat it, so <laughs> I got that. And I think I'm going to finally drink this Love Kombucha that I shared with you guys in my last vlog. So I think I'm gonna have this, but I just wanna taste it real quick just to see if I like it. I'm gonna use my little heart straw since this is a love drink. It's good. It's like a little sparkling lavender tea. It's good. Okay. Lavender, chamomile, jasmine, green tea. So I'm gonna have this with my salad and I'll check back in with you guys later. All right. Hello everyone, it's the next day. I'm on my way to Bloomingdale's to pick up some coffee from Nespresso because I am down to like four pots. I need to do a little re-up and then we are going out to an early dinner. So I gotta get ready for that. It is two o'clock. So yeah, we're going to a new restaurant. I can't remember the name of it, but BK chose it. And so we're gonna go there for dinner. I'll share that with you guys. I don't know what I'm wearing because it's cold. It's 60 degrees. Now that's not like cold, cold, but mid-June, it should be warmer than this. And it's a little disappointing because everyone's walking around with jackets and hoodies and sweatshirts like what I'm wearing. And that's not okay. So, I don't know what I'm wearing. Oh, you just ran a red light. Boy, you gotta be paying attention out here because folks be driving crazy, let me tell you. I uh, really just been editing all day long. I've been FaceTiming with Seth every day, several times a day. Um, a lot of you have asked me how he's doing. He's doing great, he's having a good time. Yesterday he spent the day with my dad. This weekend he's gonna be with my dad too. I think Saturday him and my dad are hanging out. And then Sunday he'll be with his dad because it's Father's Day. And so, yeah, he's having a good time. I also sent his summer packet from school because yes we we do learning all year round he has books that he has to read he doesn't have to do a lot he just has to read like a couple chapters each day and he has to do a few sheets in his summer packet and then he'll start back up his tutoring when he gets back and so that's how I ensure that he stays on track because you will be surprised how much kids lose over summer break by not reading and you know keeping their brains working and stimulated. So I've learned that during COVID, Sefton always does tutoring in the summer. This summer obviously it's a little different because he's away. Rest assured when he gets back, tutoring will resume. But he's doing great. I miss him so much. Feels so empty without him. So yeah, that's the update on Mr. Sefton. His basketball camp went well. He said he had fun, learned a lot. So I'm happy that went well. 
I don't know if I told you guys, he's doing a basketball camp here too, but his dad had signed him up for a basketball camp there. So yeah, all is well, all is well with Mr. Sefton. I'm doing better. For those who reached out and asked me how I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing much better, um, especially knowing that he's good. As long as my babies are good, I'm good. And if you're a mom, you know what I'm talking about. When your kids are away from you, you are, you're always worried about your kids, but especially when they're away. I've not really been sleeping well. You know, I'm checking my phone constantly throughout the day, which I don't usually do that. You know, that worry is always there because you just wanna make sure that your children are safe and well and okay. But other than that, we're good. Everything is good. I'm just counting down till he gets back home. And yeah, so I just pulled up to Bloomingdale's. So I'm going to run in here, grab me some pods. Let me put my blinker on just in case somebody want to get crazy. Oh, I'm like, what is she doing? This lady just walked up on me. Is she walking to her car? Okay, let me go. Intentional, way past mellow, super relaxed, not emotional, one dimensional, make it make sense. Carefree is cool, but not at my expense. Tell me what matters. I don't know where you've been. No love is just a real farewell. Pistachio old fashioned, strawberry cake, sprinkles, plain glaze. Sit on a All right, guys, we are back home now. I'm so tired. I'm so full. The food was amazing. If you live in Chicago or you visit Chicago and you want some good Italian, go to Chicho Mio. That's the name of the place that we went to. It's owned by Bovets and Guilt Bar. I've also eaten at those two places as well. They are really good restaurants too. This it's probably the best Italian spot I've been to 
in Chicago. It's so good. And their um, chicken parmesan was rated the best chicken parmesan in Chicago. Everything was good. All the food we got was so good. It was so much food we brought some home. So I'm about to wash my face. PJ is in here with me. About to get him bathed ready for bed because tomorrow PJ is going to the zoo for the very first time. This will be his first zoo trip. We're going to the Brookfield Zoo, so I'm so excited. I've never been before. We're excited and I got him the cutest little shoes. Let me show you how the shoes I got him. None other than Nordstrom. I saw these online and I was like, okay, he needs these for his zoo trip, but he'll be wearing them beyond the zoo but i just thought they were so cute ah. <laughs> they're these cute little natives and they have all the little zoo animals on them i love these so much you guys know i love natives they're just the best summer shoe for kids you leaving okay well don't go too far because you got to get a bath so yeah He's going to be wearing these to the zoo tomorrow. They have elephants, crocodiles, giraffes, leopards, a bunch of cute little animals. So cute. I'll link them below if you guys are interested. But I just thought those were so cute. And I think they'll match with a lot of his stuff that he has for this summer too. So that's what we got going on for tomorrow. Like I said, I'm about to get myself together and get him bathed so he can get to bed because it's almost eight o'clock and his bedtime now is 8 30 since it's summer we moved his bedtime from 7 to 8 30 so yeah he's been doing good with that so i'm gonna go and i will see you guys tomorrow on our way to the zoo or at the zoo one or the other y'all going to the zoo with us okay bye